You know, there was one time in the transition before I came here that I was going through hell. I mean, I was going through such hell to sit in a church and hear a message being preached against you. And take it and have your wife right in you little netters. My love, please smile. Please be strong. Don't forget to greet your leaders before you leave. I know you're hurting, but keep your head up. The Lord is with you. And I just wanted to get up and punch somebody, be honest. And I remember doing that in the desert that I was going through. I went one time to take my car to uh, Tires Plus. And I found this out later on when I took my car again. The manager, which is an unbeliever, he said to me the second time I came, he said, you know, last time when you showed up here, I don't know what it was, but you had so, such a presence, I almost collapsed. You see, sometimes you think God is so far away from you because you don't feel Him, because you don't sense His presence. That doesn't mean that you are by yourself. He is with you like a powerful giant, the Bible says. You know, the Bible also says in the book of Jeremiah, and they shall fight against you, but they shall not prevail. For I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. That applies to you. That applies to me. Even though we don't feel anything, that does not mean that he is not there. He will be a liar. And if he says you're the righteousness of Christ, if he says you're a mighty warrior, who are you to say otherwise? Don't expect God to bless your mess. Don't expect God to bless you when you're doing whatever you want. If you believe this great salvation is yours, he wants you to act on it. He wants you to believe it. He wants you to own it because it is yours. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit was given to you as a deposit. He is your guarantee that you belong to Him.